Greetings fellow ukuleleans, Jeff Weinberger coming at you here with a new ukulele tutorial. Today I'd like to talk about minor 251s, and uh, just that term alone might scare some folks, but it's not uh, all that scary. I can explain it pretty simply. Um, all a minor 251 is, is it's a very common chord progression that we most commonly see in major keys, the 251, like in the key of C, D minor, G, C or D minor, G7, C, etc. Uh, I'll just play that for you. you. You've heard this before. Not so scary. Those are kind of easy chords. But then when you um, are in a minor key, that would uh, change everything. You need to uh, alter a note or two to fit uh, a, a minor key in the scale that minor uh, keys are built from. So the chords start to get fancier names. They're not just D minor and G and C. They're things like B minor 7 flat 5 and E7 flat 9 and A minor major 7 and um, chord names that might um, terrify and horrify some people and make them flee in terror to avoid such uh, complicated things, but they're not that complicated when you look at them. And some of you that are already into jazz that might like bossa nova music, Beatles, Burt Bacharach, some kind of like what we would call, I guess, sophisticated uh, music with harder chords and just more complex sounds. You've probably already seen uh, these kind of things before. So let's dive right into what is a minor 2-5. Well, if we're going to be in, say, the key of A minor, as I was in that improvised example there, um, I used a chord called B minor 7 flat 5. It's a really great sound. It's a pretty common sound. Not all that unusual. And really, it's not that hard to play. If you already know how to play a D minor chord, all you got to do is put your pinky down, uh, to do the D minor chord, 2-2-1-0, two, two, and then put your pinky down on two of the of the A string. So that gives you two, two, one, two. Just a simple addition to a D minor chord gives you a B minor seven flat five. We're gonna get into the theory of this maybe in the future. I'm not gonna explain why is it B minor seven flat five? Why is that other chord an E seven flat nine, etc.? We'll uh, get into the hows and whys of um, these chord names and these chord qualities later. I think it's better today just to go over how to play this stuff and how to kind of hear it, but later we'll go over the theory of it. So yeah, we had B minor seven flat five. And then that X chord that I played, that was E seven flat nine. And you might say to yourself, well, wait a minute, I see your fingers making a chord that I know as G sharp diminished seventh, or maybe I know that chord as B diminished seventh, then you, you would be right. Uh, this chord has dual identities. There's a few ways to um, name this chord, depending on the context. In this context, it's an E7 flat nine. And then finally, uh, you can just do a plain old A minor. That's a really nice sound. I'm going to do that for you. Here we go. Um, B minor seven flat five, E7 flat nine, A minor. Just plain old A minor. Here we go. So that's kind of a nice entry level uh, way to get into it. And then to make it a little more sophisticated, well, maybe you could do like a A minor 9. That would sound like this. Just spiffing up that A minor chord a little bit. And if you want to go way out there and use something called the melodic minor scale, um, we would use a chord called A minor major 7. Or as some of you might have heard me call it the spy chord, that mysterious secret agent man J slash James Bond sounding chord. But even the James Bond 007 theme and the end of secret agent man. So that's a great chord. And um, it's played 1002. It's kind of an A minor chord, but you lower the A note. And you add a B note to it. 
And actually, officially, the name of that chord would be A minor major 9. But already I can tell some of you are rolling your eyes, saying, what? Why do chords have such complicated, fancy names? Why do I even need to know that stuff? But it's just a sound. It's a, a texture that you've heard, an atmosphere. You know that from a 60s spy film, so. That's all it is to you, maybe, as a sound, as opposed to the music theory behind it. So yeah, if I add that chord to the whole proceedings here, we get this.